today I've got myself the Swixon 2021 Q-Star ball. Not the Q-Star tour, just the plain Q-Star. So I'm going to head out on course here at Phillip Island and give it a crack. Let's go. biggest surprises for me, for me so far with this ball is that it's not marketed as a distance ball but it really really feels nice off the club face it's one of the things I've enjoyed the most about this club is how far it goes off the tee but it climbs nicely too but it gets a long distance a lot of balls will climb and then drop this seems to climb and then roll over too nicely it's really really good with throwing Those of this ball with all of the clubs is it's got a nice soft feel, but it's also hard enough on the inside that it doesn't feel like rubbery when you hit it. Um, it comes off, it has a nice click to it. It's not a click like you're going to expect with like a urethane or top, top level ball, but for $30 a dozen, it's a really nice feel. feel around the greens it's not so much that it's going to go one hop and just break and stop on you it rolls nicely but it also feels really good off the club face so i'm loving it around the greens that's a really good way to finish a video on a birdie that doesn't happen very often so i enjoyed that one this ball, it feels really nice off the club face. It doesn't, it doesn't have the click of the tour version or of your higher grade balls like a Pro V1X, TV5X, those sort of balls. But it does go really, really far and it spins really well. So it's a really great value ball for sort of the mid-range player, which is where I'm at. I'm sort of in the mid-range. Sometimes I can shoot 100, sometimes I can shoot 80. It's just really depends on the day. But at $30 odd Australian box, it's at $20 odd US. It's fantastic value. So I recommend if you like a Strixon ball, you're going to like the Q-Star. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.